morning to you all. Pleasant morning to you all. I'm going to ask you, all the persons that will be taking part in the service this morning, as well as close family members, I'm going to ask you to make your way to the vestry at this time. That's all persons taking part in the service this morning, as well as close family members will invite you to the vestry at this time. Thank you.
these things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophet sent his angel to show unto me his servant the things that must surely be. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the same of the prophecies of this book. And I thou saw these things, and hear them. And when I have heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of an angel which showed me these things. Then say unto me, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. And he said unto me, See not the saints of the prophecies of this book, for the time is at hand. And he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man a order as his word shall be. At this time, I just want to encourage the very family and the, the supporters and give an open invitation. Normal will have service on Saturday, Sabbath, starting at 9.15 and on a Wednesday evening prayer service at 7.30. Our doors are open to each and every one of you. So I just want to say, sit back, relax, allow the Holy Spirit to speak to your mind at this time. Welcome each and every one. I'm going to ask you at this time to follow your program as we sing the hymn of praise, amazing praise, our sweet song. Thank you. 
show my two knees around, those around me, sorry. And your absence is deep you felt. May you find eternal peace and continue spreading laughter in heaven as you did here on earth. Rest in peace to rain, body will come down. We all love you. Thank you very much. Next on our program for this morning, we will have the second lesson begun by Alison McLean, and it is Psalms 19, 1 to 12. Sorry, Alicia McLean.
together with a heavy heart. Today we gather with heavy hearts to bid farewell to a cherished soul who has touched our lives in profound ways. The pain your departure leaves a void that words cannot fill, and our sorrow weighs heavily upon us. As we remember the warmth of your smile and kindness in your heart, your presence illuminates our lives and your absence leaves behind a deep sense of love. We mourn not only for the moments we share, but also for the ones we will never have again. Your laughter, your wisdom, and your unwearing love have left us in the book, Mark, and all who had the privilege of knowing you. As we gather to honor your memory, we find solace in the beautiful moments we share and the love that will forever reside in our hearts. Though you may no longer walk among us, your spirit will continue to guide us, offering your comfort in our darkest hours. The way you will be with, but your legacy of love and compassion will live on in the lives you touch, may you find eternal peace in the arm of angels. And may your memory be blessed that bring light to our darkest day. Rest in peace, dear friend, until we meet again. From the founder of the Trust in Chance and friend, Nina. At this time, we're going to ask the entire congregation to participate in this part of the service by being a part of the off offering that we're collecting for the use in our community to help those that are in need. And while we are collecting the offering, we will be singing the hymn, The Lord is My Shepherd, to the tune of the Catholic one. Thank you. 
you the best clothes that you're uh, giving to you at this time, and that you can continue to encourage them to be a father to participate in such ventures as this. Father, keep us safe as we continue to program. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 At this time, we will be having our members, and this will be done by Kimberly Davis. Kimberly Davis. He just put the 
merge with that song. Let me say it's indeed a privilege and a blessing to always stand in, in the gap between God and His people. Be used by a wonderful God. And this morning, I am privileged to, to be that person to be used by our maker and our team. The scripture reading is coming to us from the book of Mark 10, reading verse 17. And it reads, And when he was gone forth into the way, they came one running, kneeled to him, and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? In other words, Good master, what must I do to be saved? While I was preparing this message, I remember a brother said to me, he said to me, if you going to do the funeral for Louis Colina, I said, yes. And he said to me, you know, one of the things that stand out in my mind about this young man, I remember on my way to church, the way Colina beckons to me. He said to me, Sir, come here, Pastor, Pastor, look here. And he said, Me? I do it, I do me attack, you are Pastor. And he went over and he said, Yes, sir, how can I help you? And funny enough, do we coming up asked him a question? And the question that he asked this brother, while preparing this sermon, and after reading verse 17, it was the same question Duane asked him. He said, Pastor, uh, 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 what must I do to be saved? He said, 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 Pastor, is there hope for me? Let us pray. Or the Holy Father. Once again, Lord, as a question being asked, what must I do to be saved? Lord, I pray at this time that you will open the hearts of all of these persons that is in your temple at this time. That the only way that they can be saved is to the man Christ Jesus. By repenting and giving their life to you and accepting you as their personal savior from sin. Speak to your children of this time. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew 10, reading from 17, it reads, And when he gone forth into the way, they came one running, kneeling to him, and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I might inherit eternal life? 19. Don't notice the commandment. Do not commit adultery. Jesus is responding to him. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness against thy neighbors. Honor thy father and mother. 23. And he answered and he said unto him, Master, all these things I have been doing from I was a youth. 21 reads, Then Jesus behold him. Jesus went over to him and he put his arms around him. And the scripture says, He loved him and he said to him, One thing 
thou lackest. What is that one thing that you are lacking? What is that one thing that you are doing that is preventing you from going to the place that God has gone to prepare for us? What is that one thing? Jesus said to the young man, one thing thou lackest, go back. God, 
has done everything in his power to ensure that all of us that is in the hearing of my voice will know that you have opportunity just like the way Cunningham had an opportunity to make his calling an election sure. Jesus is calling you. What will your answer be? Church, heaven, or hell? The choice is yours. Heaven or hell? If you continue to be promiscuous and live as so you, you feel get up and do whatever you want to and not following the word of God and keeping his commandment, you are going to be a heart. Only the same breath. I must say to you, only if you accept it, you can have eternal life. I do pray and hope that the way coming up, his last thoughts would be one of repentance. I do hope that all Lord thoughts going through this life will be one of repentance because the scripture said clearly there is no repentance in the grave. See God today before it's too late. I said it before, hell was not made for us human beings. Some of us is going fast, fast and fast. And some of us is going to go to hell. God says that he has gone to prepare a place for you and me. And he said clearly, if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. But guess what, church? Guess what, my fellow brothers and sisters? God is coming back for prepared people. Ready or not, Jesus is on his way. In closing, I want to encourage you by sharing an experience, an experience of having a friend. We were down by the wall together. He was a truck driver, I was a dispatcher. And every opportunity I get, I remind him that God is coming again. Every opportunity that I get, I remind him. He will laugh at times and he said, Mr. Bernard, I believe that there is a God. I know that God is real. And somehow I was relocated. Our path wasn't meeting again. But from time to time I will ask questions. It was only early this year, the last year to early this year. Someone told me that he was in the depression. He found out that his loved one was treating on him. Yes, laugh or not, believe it. He found out. And after 10 years, we come and hear that there is no one who can truly love you than the man Christ Jesus. You know what he did? He decided that he don't want to be any part of this anymore. And he just walked right on the Marcus got the road. And he just walked out in front of a vehicle. Just like that. Walk out right in front of the vehicle. Church, the reality is, if you can not really get old, we're going to die. But the most important message for you to make sure your life is right. It's right. The scripture says, what does it profit a man? Gain the whole world and lose his or her soul. Church, 
everything that this world has to offer us is temporal. But remember that there is a God who cares, who came and died for you. Seek Him before it's too late. Thank you. so that we may be able to make a decision before it's too late. At this time, we'll be having a prayer for the family, and so we're asking the congregation to stand, but the family members are to remain seated as we have a prayer for the family.
for the graveside so get yourselves refreshed I will see you back within the next 40 minutes or so
man. Shout out my boy Shooters Touch Spill, man. Glass this nigga around. I don't give a fuck what a nigga talking about. Brrr. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ice cream goes on and if you accept the fact that Life goes on but that don't stop The journey to this life of sin Starts from within and carries on even after death up on top One way in, one way out Life comes fast and death does slow down Destiny and chance, we don't know we are Unknown at the far
I'm tired of the troubles and the stressing people. I want to go to heaven and one more time. I want to go to heaven and rest. Not yet. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the troubles and the trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. Re, re, re. Sing people. That's so real to me. I love him because he gave us the victory. Many people doubt him. I can't do without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. Hurry, 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 hurry. Christ so real to me. I love him because he gave us a victory. Many people thought I can do it. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. Closer than a brother, my Jesus is to me. He's my dearest friend. Everything I need is my rock, my shield, and my display. Sing people closer than a brother. Jesus is to me. One more time. Closer than a brother. My Jesus is to me. He's my dearest friend. He's everything I need. He's my rock, my shield and hiding place. Closer than a brother, Jesus is to me. You better get right with God. Come and do it now. Under the cross of Jesus, I'm gonna lay my burden down. You better get right with God. Come and do it now. Get right, get right, get right with God. You tell me who made the angels sing. You tell me who sing people made the dog bearing. You tell me who. Nobody but my Lord. Yes, he made the world, he made the sea and land. Pass them all together with his mighty hands. All the little children of his command. Nobody but my Lord. Tell me who made the angels sing. He tell me who made the child and he tell me who. He is the king of kings. The grave Why is not the away? end. It's very important you listen to me. The grave is not the end. The Bible says after death, here comes the what? The judgment. And I'm here to say to you today that the judgment is real. Believe it or not, how you live in this life will determine your end result either for God or for the devil. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Rest in peace to you. I'm saying to you, my fellow brothers and sisters, this is not the end. I want to encourage you, my fellow brothers and sisters, that the life that you live in this life, will determine what the end result will be. My sisters and my brothers, all of us are here. At the end of the day, nobody knows what the next minute will bring. And that's the reason why we have to ensure that we make our calling an election show. What are you saying, Pastor? I am saying to each and every one of you, every day you wake up and you realize that you're alive and you are clothed in your right mind 
you get a next opportunity to make your life right with God. I am saying to you, my fellow brothers and sisters, God is doing everything in his power to save you. God is doing everything in his power to ensure that you have eternal life. But you know and I know the decision that you make in this life will determine if it's for heaven and for hell. My fellow brothers and sisters, I said to you inside the church, the main sanctuary, that hell was not designed, it was not created for us human beings. But because of the decisions that we make in this life, it will determine if you will make it or not. I was at home at about two o'clock one morning. My phone started to ring off. And when I look on the phone, it was a family member overseas. And I answered the phone, I said, what is up? And the person was just crying and crying and crying. And I said, talk to me, what is happening? And she said, my son was at school. And while he was there in the classroom, school was over and somehow instead of him leave the classroom he was there looking out into space and he started to talk to himself and the teacher recognized what was happening and what she did she hold on to him and she said son what is wrong with you and he said miss i don't know i keep hearing voices in my head telling me i must hurt the student I must hurt myself. And being a foreign country, you know, when the teachers recognize something like this happening, they will call the police and then the fire brigade and everybody turn up our house. I am saying to you that gone are the days when the devil go to the parents to go to the children. I am here to say to you that the devil is going directly to our children. Reason being, because time is winding up for him. He has just a matter of time. My fellow brothers and sisters, the grave is not the end. See God before it's eternal too late. I want to go to heaven and rest. I'm tired of staying down this. I'm tired of the trouble and the trial. I want to go to heaven and rest. One more time. I want to go to heaven and rest. Oh, yes, I'm. Sing, people, sing. I'm tired of the trouble and the trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. Born, born, born again. Sing, people. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. I am born of the water. The yes, God, I'm born again. I am born of the water, the spirit, and the blood. Thank God I'm born again. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. Come on, sing. We shall have a grand time up in heaven, have a grand time walking with the angels. We shall have a grand time up in heaven, have a grand time. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. We shall have a grand time up in heaven. We shall have a grand time up in heaven, have a grand time. As I said to you before, the grave is not the final place. The Bible teaches that after death, here comes the judgment. My fellow friends, my brother and my sisters, please, I'm begging you, take your life serious. This world is not the end. God has promised us that he has gone to prepare a better place. And only if we live clean, and only if we live godly in this life, we will be also a part of the promise. That great promise
promised that he has promised us that I go to prepare a place for you. And if you live as how he wants you to live, all of us can be a part of this promise. My brothers and sisters and brothers, remember as I said to you, you don't have to be a whole person to die. Let me say to my fellow younger brothers, you're not too young to die. And that's the reason why you need to ensure that the life that you live in this one will qualify you for the one to come. You know, a friend of mine, he was at home. And while he was at home, he saw his little child knocking her head. And while the young girl was knocking her head, the mother and the father said to her, What is wrong with you? And she said, Mommy, Daddy, I keep hearing voices telling me all sorts of bad things that I must do. And I'm saying to you, we ought to ensure that we live such a life that our soul will be right with God. And as I said to you before, this is not the end. My fellow brothers and sisters, I give you the man Christ Jesus. Seek him before it's too late. Tomorrow may be just too late. Let us pray to close. Let us pray to close. Let us pray, Heavenly Father. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father. We give you praise for being a merciful and a wonderful God. And Lord, we want to thank you for taking us here safely. Father, we want to thank you for allowing this service to go in peace and in harmony. Father, we thank you for allowing your Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts. And as the seed has been planted in our minds, I pray, Lord, that you will bring it back to remembrance at that time. Forgive us all our sins and take us back to our destination, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And behalf of the bereaved family, they want to say thanks to you for that necessary phone call that you have been calling them. The bereaved family wants to say thanks to you for the visit you have visited them. The bereaved family want to say thanks to you for giving them the opportunity by being them, by supporting them, whatsapping, calling, visiting, sending gifts. I want to also encourage you to continue to do the same. Continue to call them, continue to pray for them, continue to encourage them as they continue to go through this time of bereavement. My fellow brothers and sisters, as I said to you before, I am going to say to you again, some of you have tried everything in this life that you ought not to try. I am saying to you, try the man Christ Jesus. Him and him alone can see you on the other side. God bless each and every one of you. Safe journey as we leave here. service for doing communion. Our deepest condolences extend to the family of the deceased. On behalf of Total TV, thank you for joining us and for being part of the service.